Hello and welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today I am doing my review for Kena Bridge of Spirits. Yes, this game came out almost a year ago. Almost a year ago. And I have finally completed it. Now, I did play through this game halfway through on the hardest difficulty, and then the other half I played through on story mode. It got pretty freaking challenging. Um, okay, that's, that, that's not exactly the whole truth, but I was, I was struggling to want to play this game. I was struggling to want to play this and get through it because I was being a picky, snobby, <clears throat> little it must be 4K kind of dude. And now, and now that I've finally got into the beta program to be able to play my PlayStation 5 on a 1440p monitor nat natively, that has greatly changed the experience. So, this is how it happened. I got into the beta program a few days ago to play on 1440p. During my testing <coughs> of games on the PlayStation 5, I happened to stop on Kena and, and pick that up. Now I was <clears throat> I was pretty close to the end because I have been going back in here and playing it every every once in a while I'd get in there and I'd finish a little bit but then my snobbiness would pull me back out of it. Well something happened this time. This game looks literally incredible on a 1440p screen being down sampled from 1800p in 60 frames to uh yeah, this game looks incredible now. It looks, it looks like I thought it was gonna look when um, it it looks like I thought it was going to look when we were watching the uh, the advertisements and stuff. Now, Cana Bridge of Spirits, it has a really good story. This game has an, a really good story. It it portrays that story really well. The voice acting is pretty good. Uh, the characters in the game, uh, while there's not a lot, it is, how do you say this, it, <clears throat> everything feels meaningful. I don't feel like this game wasted my time whatsoever. It was pretty cut to the point. <clears throat> it was pretty, it was pretty on point throughout the whole experience. Um, I don't feel like it wasted my time. It wasn't really super hard to figure out a lot of the puzzles or anything like that. It moved pretty well. Like, the, the pacing in this game is really good. I'm going to give this game a solid 8. A solid 8 because it does everything that it's supposed to do. It's it's one heck of an average game. It feels, it feels pretty average. Uh, but it, but it's a good average. Like it's not, it's not like oh god. Like this is, this is, a, this is a pretty decent quality game for an indie game um, at its price point. Like this is a pretty, this is a pretty decent quality game. I like it. Uh, the visuals look incredible uh, now when I'm playing it on 1440p. It's just, gosh, man. Sony's marketing with their PlayStation Five. Um, it, it leaves. It, it was leaving a lot for me to 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 be desired, and and it was and it was and it was a little bit frustrating um, trying to play this on 1800p on a 4K screen. I was just it just wasn't feeling it, man. But this literally looks incredible now. Like this literally looks incredible now. This is what it should have been in the beginning. This is exactly what it should have been. Like this looks great. It feels good. The story's good. Yeah, I a solid eight. This is a really fun experience to play for sure. Oh, come here, little fella. So collecting these guys. This is pretty fun, man. I almost got them all. I almost got them all in that playthrough. Um, toward toward the end of the game, I just stopped searching so much because I was just like ah oh, man I just want to complete it and get it over with but now like wow wow um I think my playthrough was about 12 ish hours on this maybe maybe more maybe a little bit less um 
but a lot of that was, you know, kind of, I mean, some of that was just, you know, wasting my time and looking around and gawking at the visuals and being pouty and all of that stuff. So, I mean, I can, I can 100%, you know, agree that I was pretty nitpicky with this game. That's why I'm glad this 1440p update is here. Like, I'm so sick and tired of being nitpicky about PlayStation, man, that, yeah, this is a solid game. It is solid. It is worth your time. I think it's on sale right now. I think it was like twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, I paid thirty nine ninety nine for it at launch. I think that was a fair price. These guys did a really good job. Um, this this is this is a fun experience to play. So, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.